Digital technologies are changing the landscape of agriculture in the drylands, and I'm pleased to share examples from ICRISAT. As the lead international institute for the drylands, for over 45 years we've been working towards resilient and adaptive food systems using cutting-edge technologies. From germplasm to field trials, our crop breeding process is 100% digitalized. Online data dashboards disseminate research information, Mobile apps inform farmers and policymakers' decisions. Geographic information systems powered by satellite and artificial intelligence, use of systems modeling tools, value chain orchestration, and real time plot monitoring have nudged our digital initiatives into the digital realm. Everything is about data. ICRISET's digital data ecosystem comprises of a modern crop breeding database, coherent handling of large scale sequencing data interconnecting database, incorporating machine learning, and the widely used open access repository. This digital data ecosystem enables dynamically populated dashboards, visual analytics for easy access to information, and linking research data and information to farmers facing applications. The digitalization of our breeding operations is tremendously helping us to enhance efficiency. All our nurseries and our trials are now barcoded. We now record data in handheld tablets, which help us in recording data faster and error-free. We now have all our data at our fingertips, including historic pedigree records, cross information, line performance and analysis. The digitalization of breeding operations has led to data-driven decisions, enhanced selection accuracy and eventually increasing genetic gains of our breeding programs. ICRISAT Center of Excellence in Genomics and Systems Biology is at the forefront of generating and analyzing large-scale genomic data for creating knowledge, breeding applications, and training NARS partner. In the process of decoding genomes, large-scale germplasm characterization, and deployment, we have generated 53 terabases and analyzed more than 800 terabytes data. With the power of such large-scale data sets, our NARS partner have started to see the better varieties with higher yield and better nutrition in their field. Therefore, we are well prepared to collaborate and contribute genomics data research in context of one CGIR. Geospatial tools guide the scientists working in dryland agri-food systems to make critical decisions. Geospatial analysis help the identify strategic locations for water structures, provide land use data and uh, crop interventions and uh, identify areas for upscaling proven technologies. Satellite imagery coupled with the Machine learning algorithms is equipping insurance agencies to take science-backed decisions. Also, we have conducted large volume of ground data across 30 countries in Asia and Africa, which will be very helpful to map major crop extents in South Asia and Africa. To make informed decisions, we need data and metrics. ICRISAT has created and maintaining historic repository of socioeconomic data related to food, agriculture system at different scales, national, district and household level. With the support of digital tech, we developed a one-stop shop of district level database for Indian agriculture and allied sector, which has data from 1966 to 2015 of about 1030 variables and 11 million data points. As an activity leader, planning and putting together information from different partners in different countries is very stressful. But when we got Mesha, we were able to reduce the amount of time that we needed for our national partners to plan their activities and we would find all this information collected in one page. And Mesha has allowed us to display data in a dashboard that shows the gender gaps that we have in our crops, in our legumes, in our cereals, in a dynamic and new way. And we really appreciate the speed at which we can do this. Before the introduction of Mesha, we were using Microsoft Excel for planning and Microsoft Word for reporting. Collecting data from different partners was tedious and time-consuming. Dashboards display the project's overall performance and progress, enabling better forecasting. We at ICRISAT have developed several digital technologies to enhance sustainable access of seed at affordable prices. These include, number one, a digital seed catalog, which enables seed production and delivery planning. Number two, digital seed roadmap for enhanced information access to available seed technologies. And number three, SeedX, a mobile application for 
collection and dissemination of variety performance data. An integrated use of these tools is enabling seed value chain actors and other stakeholders to have better access to uh, targeted information to make more informed decisions for better livelihoods through agriculture. Catalyzing the innovation ecosystem and a systems approach are essential if digital needs to be mainstreamed into smallholder farming systems. ICRISAT's iHub, which is ICRISAT's digital agriculture innovation platform through activities like incubation, acceleration, public-private partnership, partnership development, leverages ICRISAT's position as an innovation broker and deliver on digital agriculture at a systemic level.